Amazon just shut down Elon Musk's new SpaceX mission. Tesla CEO Elon Musk slams Amazon in a tweet. There are no restrictions when it comes to Elon Musk's SpaceX and Starlink ambitions, according to Amazon. During a long-running spat between Amazon and SpaceX, Elon Musk's SpaceX was blasted as a chronic rule breaker on Wednesday. How true is this? Do you think it's simply a personal feud? Welcome to our channel once again where you get real updates about space and technologies. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also smash the bell icon so that you can be notified when we release a new video. We will be discussing how Amazon just shut down Elon Musk's new SpaceX mission. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this video to see how true it is. Thanks. To challenge SpaceX's Starlink ambitions, Amazon alleges Musk's firm's disregard restrictions. Amazon denounced Elon Musk's SpaceX as a chronic rule breaker on Wednesday, escalating their spat over competing satellite networks. The battle, conducted in long FCC papers, is nothing new. Amazon provided the FCC a list of Musk's previous regulatory violations in its most strong pushback against SpaceX's rapid deployment of broadband satellites. Execute flight rules on a Musk-led company? You're fundamentally broken, Amazon claimed in its submission, alluding to Musk's criticism of the FAA's regulatory framework. Hold a Musk-led corporation accountable for health and safety? Musk has taken issue with regulators who wanted to halt facilities to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Earlier this year, SpaceX suggested an upgrade to its Starlink network, a large constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit meant to beam broadband internet to rural regions with little or no internet access. Now that SpaceX has over 1,700 satellites in space, almost 100,000 people are testing its internet services. An Amazon satellite network named Kuiper will include over 3,000 satellites, although Amazon hasn't announced manufacturing plans or launched any yet. Of recent, SpaceX asked the FCC to approve two further Starlink satellite deployment plans. SpaceX, according to its application, would only execute one of the two options, based on how fast its next-generation Starlink satellites and Starship rocket are ready for flight. Since 2019, SpaceX has launched scores of Starlink satellites into orbit with its Falcon 9 rockets. SpaceX claims Starship, a much larger rocket currently under development, would more swiftly place satellites in orbit. Reviewing SpaceX's plans requires significant effort. Amazon retailer days later claiming SpaceX's tactic of presenting two competing proposals violates precedent and requires substantial effort from the FCC and others. No way SpaceX. Amazon's claim that it lacks resources to evaluate SpaceX's application is laughable, given that it regularly sends up to six lobbyists and attorneys to meet with the commission concerning SpaceX. SpaceX said in another filing, Although Amazon admits it's well positioned to examine plans, it says this responsibility may be more heavily on the other corporations who reacted on SpaceX's plan. Firms are given time to study and challenge other companies' plan plans if they may affect their operations. Due to Musk's financing and large investment rounds, SpaceX's rapid development of new technology typically advances quicker than regulatory bodies can oversee them, causing all kinds of problems and infractions. Iterative development means deploying all things first, getting them in orbit, then planning progressive modifications or iterations to iron out inefficiencies in the next satellite's design. SpaceX began launching the first of 30,000 planned Starlink satellites in 2019 and already has over 1,700 in orbit. This next generation of satellites will be larger and have more features including laser connections which eliminate the need for ground stations by enabling the satellites to communicate in orbit while passing over user regions. Why does iteration keep people engaged? In a sense, this is similar to how SpaceX developed Starship. Launch it, figure out any bugs or design inefficiencies, tweak the design and launch again. Regulators resent SpaceX's iterative approach. In the satellite world, it irritates rivals. Despite these challenges, SpaceX has made progress. Iteration is what keeps people engaged, said Jonathan Hoffeller. SpaceX's vice president of commercial Starlink sales, adding that the normal technique of operating satellites simply takes too long, he added, we surely capitalize on it with Starlink. They come to SpaceX to watch the action, Ophelia added. That's how you engage people. 
It's not the first time the FCC has had to deal with a long dispute between the two parties. This time, Amazon pushed back hard against SpaceX's fast deadline for delivering its broadband satellites by sending FCC authorities a laundry list of Musk's previous difficulties with other agencies. To hold a corporation managed by Elon Musk to aviation regulations, you're fundamentally flawed. Amazon stated in its lawsuit, alluding to the moment Musk claimed that the Federal Aviation Administration's regulatory framework slowed down SpaceX's operations. Try to enforce health and safety regulations on a corporation managed by Elon Musk? Musk had a falling out with the government authorities who wanted to keep factories closed to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Thus, the statement continued, you're unelected and uneducated, it said. Earlier this year, SpaceX suggested an upgrade to its Starlink network, a large constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit meant to beam broadband internet to rural regions with little or no internet access. As of now, SpaceX has more than 1,700 satellites in orbit and around 100,000 people are testing out its internet service in beta mode. A comparable satellite network named Kuiper is being planned by Amazon with more than 3,000 satellites, although no manufacturing plans or satellite launches have been made public yet. When SpaceX asked the FCC to approve two plans for deploying Starlink satellites, they did so last month to fine-tune their original proposal. Based on how fast this next generation of Starlink satellites will be ready for flight and when SpaceX's Starship rockets is ready to begin launching those Starlink satellites, SpaceX will only adopt one of the two options. Falcon 9 rockets have been used by SpaceX since 2019 to launch dozens of Starlink satellite missions into orbit. SpaceX, on the other hand, is working on a much larger rocket called Starship, which it claims will be able to lift satellites into orbit more rapidly. The FCC and other firms will have to put in considerable effort to analyze SpaceX's tactic of proposing two mutually incompatible designs, according to Amazon. It was going over well with SpaceX. Another petition from SpaceX asserts, Amazon demonstrates a lack of credibility by saying that it cannot examine SpaceX's application since Amazon frequently brings as many as six lobbyists and lawyers to its numerous meetings with the commission over SpaceX. This duty may be heavier on the other firms who commented on SpaceX's plan, Amazon said in its newest filing, acknowledging that it's ideally positioned to analyze the offers. There is a designed amount of time for corporations to review and challenge other companies' proposed plans if they might impact their operations. Musk and other inventors have fueled SpaceX's high rate of new technology development, which has resulted in a slew of problems and even blatant breaches of the law since the agency is unable to keep up. SpaceX's iterative approach is defined by developing things first, getting them into orbit, and then planning incremental updates or iterations to eliminate inefficiencies in the next satellite's design. The company's unconventional proposal to the FCC to review two tentative plans is a bid to get the FCC on board with this development ethic. Over 1,700 of SpaceX's intended 30,000 Starlink satellites have been launched so far, with the company starting with the first version in 2019. For this reason, SpaceX is developing a new generation of satellites that will eliminate the need for ground stations by communicating with each other and relaying messages in orbit as they pass over user regions. These satellites will be larger and have new capabilities like laser connections. Iteration is what keeps people engaged, according to Starlink sales manager. SpaceX's development of Starship is a good analogy for this manufacturing strategy. Launch the object first, iron out any design flaws or inefficiencies that arise, make design adjustments, and relaunch the thing again and again. Regulators aren't happy with SpaceX's iterative approach to rocket development, and SpaceX's rivals in the satellite industry aren't happy about it. Despite these hurdles, SpaceX has made significant progress. According to SpaceX's Vice President of Commercial Starlink Sales, Jonathan Hofeller, that's what keeps people motivated. On the iteration side of things, according to him, the normal manner of operating satellites simply takes too long, he stated. We are capitalizing on it with Starlink and we challenge everyone else to capitalize on it. People go to SpaceX to watch what's going on, according to Hofeller. People will be more interested in what you have to say if you do it that way. His attempts to postpone the SpaceX satellite launch. But guess what? Elon Musk slams Amazon's attempts to postpone the launch of SpaceX's satellites. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, has turned his attention to Jeff Bezos, Amazon.com, Inc. on Twitter. After Amazon requested the FCC ban SpaceX's revised plan to launch Starlink satellites, Elon Musk 
unleashed a series of angry tweets on Wednesday, using SpaceX's yet to be completed Starship Mega Rocket headquartered in California as the goal. To provide internet connectivity, SpaceX and Amazon are engaged in a race to launch a constellation of low Earth orbit satellites. As part of its project Kuiper Branch, the company is based in Redmond, Washington. This is because Amazon claims that using two distinct methods of launching satellites violates both the Commission's regulations and public policy, according to the company. In addition, SpaceX claimed to have left important aspects unresolved. Responding to Amazon's actions, SpaceX claimed it was only the latest in its ongoing attempts to shut down competition and filed a rebuttal with the FCC. On Twitter, Musk blamed Amazon and Blue Origin's attempts to thwart SpaceX's satellite and lunar lander ambitions on Bezos, though he didn't specifically name him. His full-time job is really filing lawsuits against SpaceX, he tweeted. One of his previous misspellings of Bezos' name was retweeted in this tweet. A full-time career of suing SpaceX has been found for retired lawyer Bezos, Musk tweeted. While Bezos created Blue Origin in Kent, he stood down as Amazon CEO in July. He is still the board's chairman. This resulted in a halt of production on the Starship rocket, which Blue Origin had filed a complaint against SpaceX's $2.9 billion lunar landing contract. No response from Jeff Bezos, who last used Twitter over a year ago. Request for comment from Amazon went unanswered. In the battle to launch a satellite into orbit, SpaceX has an advantage over Amazon's Project Kuiper. Amazon has yet to launch any satellites, but as a part of a contract with the FCC, it must deploy half of its 3,236 total satellites by July 2026. More than 1,000 of SpaceX's Starlink satellites are in space. Did you think all of these Amazon claims are right? Kindly comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when we release a new video.